Toda la fruta está buena, mira la fruta. Vale, vamos. Rápidamente, vamos. Niños, no tienen negocio en la casa. I don't know these maps. It should be right around here somewhere. Look, it's right... It's right over there. Lo que parece es muy guapa ahora. Ay, pa. Adelante. Bien, bien. Sigan. Presidente! Welcome to another episode of the Retro Gaming Rewind, where we push the rewind button until we're back in the golden age of gaming. In this series, we'll play games from the past on real soft and hardware, covering mostly the Commodore and Amiga systems, the PlayStation 1 and 2, and MS-DOS or Windows games from the late 80s to the early 2000s. Expect a new episode every week, where we play something different every time. I'm your host, Dan, and today we'll rule in Tropico on a real Windows 98 system. This is an episode which means a lot to me. They all mean something, but Tropico is my favorite city building game and one of my favorite games of all times. The mellow mix of uh, rumba, salsa and mariachi just puts a smile on my face while I return to my duties as El Presidente of a small Caribbean island country during the Cold War. You can be a democratically elected president, a benevolent chairman with fake elections, or your friendly neighborhood dictator who has no need for trivialities like votes. He knows best, after all, and now stop hitting yourself. You're free to cheat, manipulate, and execute at your leisure, but your actions do have consequences and the rebels in those mountains might have had just about enough of you. The game is tongue-in-cheek in its presentation of semi-democratic banana republics, using a great deal of humor while still referencing such topics as totalitarianism, electoral fraud, the interventions of powerful companies, and the Cold War superpowers. Tropico was developed by a small team of just 10 developers from Pop Top Software and published by a gathering of developers for Windows in 2001. Tropico was a critical success that led to several sequels culminating in Tropico 6 in 2019. Tropico 7 is reportedly already being worked on, but for now, we're going back to the roots. I do own a beautiful big box version of this game, so let's take a look at that before we start the compact disc up. As you can see, I do also own a coffee, a microphone, and uh, a desk with stuff on it. <laughs> but for now, let's focus on this one here. Fortunately, we got a 40 times zoom, so we can really get into those big boxes and its manuals. This one is, by the way, one of these uh, boxes where, I don't know if I can show it to you, but, oh yeah, you can see it maybe from here. Where this here, you can actually feel, it stands out a little bit, the mountains, the tropical, the tropical font here. It's not just completely flat. And I always love those, uh, those big boxes that did this. So here's our Caribbean island. Some people walking around. And uh, this here is just <laughs> stating the obvious, right? That we rule. We do rule indeed. Oh, this is the cre creators that made Railroad Tycoon 2. That was, uh, I think that was a pretty good game as well. All right, let's check out the back of the box. We're... No, these don't stand. Oh, they stand out a little bit. Oh yeah, these um, these squares here stand out a little bit, like they have been put onto the box. Now you know why it was the golden age of gaming. Because this stuff, you just get a digital download and you don't even own it these days. <laughs> most unique and intriguing strategy game of the new year. So I'm not sure when Windows XP released. I don't, I don't, I have a Windows XP PC and I ran this game on it, but the intro glitches. It doesn't show. You can just play the game. 
So we'll be running this on my Windows 98 second edition PC, which has a Voodoo 2 in it. I think it should be good enough, even though this is like a 2001 release. It's a little bit modern for my system. It should be fine. Oh yeah, a very cool feature of this big box is that you can just flip this over. And then we can rule the land. Move the coffee a little bit out of the way so I can show this proper properly. Build your island. Rule the land. This is this is a good times galore. We can create our own dictator. And let's face it, who didn't wanna who who didn't wanna be or who doesn't wanna be a dictator? Everyone hates you. This is, I never, I, I just, I, once I tried to play like an evil dictator and I played a really short game, it just wasn't for me. I always liked the challenge of uh, being a democratically elected president and sort of making an, an utopia. And, you know, trying to play the game fair and square and actually winning those votes, votes and not just, you know. Sometimes I would screw up and then I had to help a little bit, but I was never, never a brutal dictator. You know, sometimes you just have to cheat a little bit with the election so that, uh, so that the good guy wins, meaning me. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's inside. Now we got a plain car, the, bo the box in here. This one is just empty now. Uh huh. Official Presidentes Guide. Might need this one, but uh, I'm not sure though. We got the CD in here, of course. It's a CD game. I got like a bunch of PC games on eBay and I tried to always get the CD version, even if it was like one or two years newer. But this one is from 2001, so this, I'm pretty sure this, this didn't come out on floppy disks at all. Boy, oh boy, I don't know if I have enough RAM. No, I haven't. I definitely have enough RAM. 200 megahertz. I think I have a 200 megahertz CPU. I'm not sure whether I have Voodoo in it. So we're on a limit. We have the minimum <laughs> system requirements of 2001. Oh, well, we'll see how well it runs. And here's the CD. we're gonna have to run directly from the CD drive. I think this is one of the games where I'm not sure. So some some of these games had like uh, music coming from the CD while the game audio came from uh, from the sound card. So what I had to do is I had to get a cable, an internal cable that connects my CD-ROM to the sound card and I ordered like multiple cables until one fit and that worked. So now we're having directly CD audio here with this game. It plays directly from the CD. And in case I didn't mention it, you rule. Everyone who watches this video rules. But I actually really rule. <laughs> All right, let's check the manual out. Marcha. Casa Azul. Casa Azul. I don't speak really Spanish. I speak Italian, which is similar. But still different enough. This is not a very high quality manual. Senor Presidente. The former president Ramirez Zapata requested a compilation of informative, informative reports on the state of Tropico at the start of this his regime. As you know, President Zapata's reign was rather short before he succumbed to that sudden case of food poisoning. Or was it a heart attack? No, that was uh, three presidentes ago. <laughs> Though the lay presidente never had the chance to see the finished reports, we're sure they will be mostly helpful to you. These reports should be quite helpful in teaching you how to be the most excellent El Presidente. And let me add, how fortunate for all Tropicans that you instead insisted on serving as our leader. Such a personal sacrifice. <laughs> they know me well. 
Because you have had so little time to fully absorb your rapid rise to power, it might be of some help for me to explain some of the current economic... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can, uh, we can check out here. Otherwise, we're going to be reading in an hour still. Tutorial, we're going to figure this out. I think there is a tutorial mission in this map. Benito Mussolini. Ah. My grandmother was actually Italian and uh, she lived under this, this great leader. <laughs> Good times. It was, it was a great time. She always told me how great he was and the fun they had. Augusto Pinochet. It is Chile, isn't it? Yeah. So we can we can choose which one of those uh, psychopath, I mean benevolent leaders we want to be. Dictator of Haiti. Corazon. The Philippines. She was a heart. So we got to wait. Can we got? Hang on. Let me put the <laughs> the remote there. Just check out these dictators here for a second. Get Ferdinand Marcos, also the Philippines. Francisco Franco, that's Spain, isn't it? Hernandez Martinez, president of El Salvador. Fidel Castro. Yeah. We know that one. That's probably one of the more famous ones. Antonio Salazar, Portugal. We got Manuel Noriega, the Commander-in-Chief of Panama. We got Anastasio Somoza. This is, this is such a great detail. I could spend quite some time reading all of this, but I will spare it to you. I will save you. Jean Bedei Bocassa, Central African Republic. Violeta Comorro, Comorro. President of Nicaragua, Nicola Ceausescu, Sedong. <laughs> why, why doesn't it say Mao first? It's even called Maoism, it's not called Zedongism. Oh well. Juan Perón, uh, Arg Ar Argentina, Evita Perón, Argentina. Rafael Truillo. Truillo, Truillo. Uh, Alfred, uh, Alfredo Stüssler. I it doesn't, oh, it ends. Okay, it ended. I was just going to say it doesn't end and then it ends. <laughs> okay. So we don't have uh, the benevolent leader of Germany here, huh? You yeah. uh, So these are the building types. Housing... Apartments. Oh, we got luxury. We got hotels too. So we got that is uh, for tourism. We can have like a, a mining, natural resource gathering, and then, or we can also have more advanced um, industry. I think we can have tourism. This is basically how you make your money. I mean, we're going to see some of these in the game, but not all of them. I don't know how long how long we're going to play, how far we're going to get. So, just finish showing them off here. And after all, these are nice little paintings. You don't have to read much, you know. It's good for us gamers who can't read. Uneducated people chart. Really? They got so many different... Uh, Character models. I mean, not every person gets a different one, but how they look is their job. You're a banker, a professor, an athlete. You know how it is. If you're an athlete, you always walk around with a ball under your arms. Oh, and here we got a trait that we can have for our leader. Of course, the leader isn't just a face, but you also get. It's called. No, attributes, not traits. Attributes, backgrounds, pick something. Financial genius. All right, I think that quite does it with, uh, with, with the game and the manual. It's almost time that we start this little baby up here. But first, 
a word. If you're enjoying this video, consider please giving it a thumbs up. It helps a lot with the algorithm and the visibility of my videos and makes me want to make more of them. But for now, are you ready for Windows 98? I know I am, so let us jump right in. Good old Windows 98. We're playing on a wireless mouse keyboard combination from 99. This is the uh, sender, I guess. This must have been pretty expensive back then. And of course, we're playing off of the floppy disk. Today, I feel generous. I'm going to show you part of my uh, computer here. It's sitting next to me. We got the a few instructions here with everything's on it. Pentium 200 MMX CPU. We got 256 megabytes of RAM, which should be more than enough. 3D accelerator Voodoo 2. We got a Creative Sound Blaster 16 in it. And an, an A time speed CD-ROM drive. Put this in. And start this little rascal up. Should pop up any moment. Right. There we go. So, um, CPU specs are the minimum. We might have an issue with that. We'll just try it out and play it as it is. This is how it was back then for someone who couldn't afford a new PC. I mean, to be honest, um, it doesn't, uh, the intro doesn't run on Windows XP on my other retro PC. It's because this game wasn't really made for XP. So I'm thinking it wasn't out in 2001. I know I could just check it in the internet, but today I feel a little bit lazy. You feel free and check when it released. I don't, I, don't, I can't remember when XP released. And there's no reason in having any of these I mean, in my in my opinion, for gaming, there's no reason of for having a. Uh, excuse me, it's focusing on the keyboard. So there's no reason in having any system with Windows 2000 Millennium or Network on it. If you want a game on it, you need a Windows 98. In my opinion, 98 SE with MS DOS also on it, and a Windows XP. But for now, we're gonna play some computer games here. Play some tropical. Let's hope it runs. Yeah, the intro is stuttering a little bit. And we got some slight screen tearing. Trust me, it's very hard to get rid of it. There wasn't V-Sync back then. But back then there was nothing like this to put you in the mood to play some Tropical, you just do this. You do this ride through your your tropical island and then you're ready to dive in. Ah, my palace. I'm pretty sure you can play this game on... On... Uh, no, that's the wrong screen. On, uh, on Steam and uh, good old games as well. You don't need to build a PC from 1998 for that. 
let's uh, start with the tutorial. Oh, my cigar. I have a cigar as well. We got some fresh air. We got the Caribbean air. So why don't we just uh, chill? So we're probably going to get copyright struck for the music, but it's not Congratulations a... on your recent rise to power, Presidente. And might I add, you're looking especially powerful today. The people of Tropico are truly blessed to have such a wise ruler as yourself. I'm sure you're anxious to they start are. exercising your new power and improving the island of Tropico. There is much to be done. First, allow me to introduce you to some of the tools at your disposal. Presidente, you have a large island to rule. You'll want to be able to view it from different angles and different zooms. Click the plus magnifying glass, and that makes which is sense. circled, several times to zoom in close on your people. <laughs> now, click the minus magnifying glass a couple of times. Presidente, certain magnificent structures, such as your palace, are so large that you'll want to be able to rotate your view to see behind them. <laughs> Click the rotate button four times to rotate in a full circle around your island. <laughs> My magnificent palace. <laughs> wow, it's loading for each <laughs> rotation. <laughs> You'll notice, Presidente, that nobody is moving. Your power is so great that you can control time itself. Indeed. Click on the second speed bar to allow time to pass at a very slow speed. I control speed. time itself. After your tutorial is over, you can turn the speed up faster. This is still, by the way, it... This here... No. This here looks better than what it is. Because we do have one of those classical track mice. <laughs> I love them. I can't get rid of them. I love them. I got them in every system. I got my track mouse on the PlayStation, on the Amiga, on the PC. I got the track mouse. I mean, the track mouse, the ball mouse everywhere. Uh, okay, let's speed up. Very good, Presidente. Zoom in close on one of your people and click on them. You have to click directly on the person. Yeah. He's leaving. Very good, Presidente. Each of your citizens is unlike any Hector other. Hector Alonso. Each respond differently to your enlightened rule. Why, some of them might even resent you. I know, I know. It can hardly be believed. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't, I choose not to believe it. The bars indicate the citizens' need for food, rest, religion, entertainment, and health care. The bars will decrease over time. And when they get low, oh, this the is the one citizen trying to resolve their need by going home to eat or sleep, or going to a church for religion, a pub or casino for entertainment, or a clinic for healthcare. Yeah, who cares what these buffoons do as long as they pay their taxes, right? <laughs> if you don't provide for your people's needs, your citizens will try to resolve them on their own. But the results are generally poor, and the people become unhappy. I'm going to pause the game again. Citizens can cause trouble, even for a powerful leader such as yourself. <laughs> Click on the indicated button for more about the citizens' happiness. The game won't let me pause the to pause the game without ending the tutorial. <laughs> All right, let's check out Each the happiness. Each citizen tracks their happiness in 10 different categories. The categories with the brightest, whitest labels are the most important and carry the most weight in determining the citizens' overall happiness the indicated bar. Note that food, housing, and so on show up here again. <laughs> However, these bars indicate the citizens' happiness in those areas, as opposed to their immediate needs. If you don't meet their needs, they will become unhappy in the poorly serviced areas. There we go. Music's a little bit louder. Can't have it too quiet. It would be ridiculous in this game, especially in this game. Uh, what did he say? Who knows? <laughs> a useful tool to keep an eye on your population's overall happiness is this bar. As indicated, it shows oh, the average happiness of your population as a whole. So they're medium happy. Speaking of the treasury, let's see if we can make a little bit more profit to fill the treasury. 
Oh yes, let's make profit. I love profit. All your farms are growing corn at the moment. The people like the corn because it keeps them well fed. But what do they know? There are more lucrative crops. Tobacco, sugar, bananas. We should investigate which of these will grow well for you. Zoom back a few times to see a bit more of your island. To survey the agricultural possibilities of your island, press the info button indicated. The info bar, the eye here, okay. Initially, the overall crop conditions icon is selected. To look at individual crops that you can grow, press the button until you have cycled through all the possibilities. There are 10 total. So this is corn? No, this is overall. <laughs> this is uh, corn. Keep pressing the button to cycle through all the crops. Pineapple. <laughs> coffee. Mmm, coffee. Sugar. Sugar and spice and all things are nice. And the diabetes too. Tobacco. No, thank you. Banana crop. Papaya. Can you see all, all the crops that we can plant in this game? This is 2001. Cattle herd conditions. Yeah, we got cattle and goats. The bright green areas go. indicate where the selected crops will grow best. If you cycle through again and stop on tobacco, you'll see that one of your farms is near some rich tobacco areas. Select the indicated farm by clicking on it. You'll notice that a map overlay is in place again for the selected farm's chosen crop. We switch it corn. to... Presidente, let's change this farm to grow tobacco. Click on the list button. Very good. On the next planting, lucrative tobacco will be grown instead of corn, producing $1,000 per load versus Ooh. $400. You've still got enough corn farms to feed your population. Usually, each corn farm can support about 30 tropicans, and you've still got three corn farms left and only about 50 citizens. However, there is something else that must be addressed here at this farm. What, can't they just eat grass? <laughs> no, they're not goats. Okay. You see that this farm does not have a full set of four workers. Oh. Your people would rather work at the farms closer to the town center. Sacre bleu. Presidente. I mean, carajo. Tropico, you cannot simply command your workers to do anything. They have free will. You control what is built, how the buildings are to operate, what edicts are issued, and otherwise run your island at a high level. However, at the low level, your people are free to do as they choose. What? And you must persuade them Blasphemy. to accomplish your goals. How can your people be persuaded? By beatings. <laughs> Why, Presidente, your people can be persuaded with money. Of course. We can lure workers to this farm by Good raising old the pay. Mula. Click on the little yellow coins to set the wage here to at least $15 per month. Fifteen? Really? And now we wait. And now the greedy swine will come. <laughs> Soon we see eager workers learn Work the greed to grab these lucrative jobs. But what if you decide that you have too many workers at a building? I execute them. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click on one of the workers. I don't want to fire him. I need him. Oh. Adios. Nice knowing you. Good luck finding a new job. Presidente, you just fired that worker. Don't worry. There are other jobs for them. Presidente, your new tobacco farmer will make you money. But it will take time. First, the tobacco must be planted. Then eventually harvested. Once there is a fair amount of tobacco stacked up at the farm, a teamster will arrive and haul the tobacco to the dock. Ah, oh, this is so relaxing. Good times. The good thing is he will stop talking and we'll have just the music 
after the tutorial. Once a freighter arrives at the dock, a dock worker will load it. Then, and only then, will you be paid. Don't worry, Presidente. The farmer, teamster, and dock worker will do their jobs without your assistance. The only thing required of you is patience. In the meantime, let us turn our attention to other things. Presidente, it is important that you learn how to construct new buildings. Click on the Building Mode button. So many of your people are living in shacks. Perhaps it is time to take pity on them and build some nice houses for them to live in. Oh, Don't these. worry, you can charge rent and now position the house on the map fairly close to your main town. It will turn green when it is in a valid location. The main town? Click to place the house. Sure. Uh, how can I... Oh, I can flip it. The house is not built immediately. A ghosted image of the house is shown. Over time, laborers will come, clear out any trees, level the ground, and build the house. You also have no house of worship at present. Many of your citizens hold their faith quite dearly and will grow upset if you do not build a church. Select the human services group as in... Now, select the church and place it in a nice location on the map. Again, close to your main town. Uh, let's place... How do I flip it around? Can I flip it? There's no flippity flip flap button, right? I already put the manual away. Oh, this song. Yes. Oh man, these 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 songs, they do a number on me. I'm telling you that. So let's see, there's gotta be can we turn buildings or flip them or the church just has to look in the same direction always. The official presidentist guide. Buildings, building types, construction, there we go, 28. No, this is not the, the key bindings. Oh, here. Rotate, numpad four. No, this rotates me left. Toggle to 8-bit graphics, F3. Oh, wait, you can't see it. There we go. Uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Does it look better or worse? It looks worse. The church looks worse. Yeah. In the almanac window. Oh, this is, this is all the key bindings you get. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we can't rotate buildings. Oh, well. <laughs> no, let's not throw the manual around. Uh, let's put the church here, maybe. Next to the road. Unable to flatten the ground due to nearby buildings. Where the hell do I put the church down? All right, let's put it here, maybe. I could swear you could, you should, you were able to flip the. <laughs> now the church still looks in the same direction. All right, I just asked uh, the AI and indeed, if there is an arrow here, you can rotate the buildings. Not a, you can't rotate all the buildings into church. Is one of those you can't. Great, huh? So that great. You can place it in an. Oh, there we go. Put it here. Very good. Now click on the building mode button again to talk and click on the uncompleted church to take a closer look. 
even though it is not yet complete. You can take actions with the church. For instance, if your house is not yet completed, some laborers may choose to work on the house initially rather than the church. Oh, put the priority up? Okay. Which is close. Very good. Another way to speed up construction generally is to make sure you construction am very good indeed. Will the workers, <laughs> raise pay if necessary, or build more construction offices. These are the workers in the church. These are the people that are currently visiting the church. Now, every click that isn't sanctioned, <laughs> the game wants to abort the tutorial or do exactly as it Many tells me. Including churches, require high school educated workers. A few require college educated workers. Initially, few in your population are educated. At some point, you'll want to build a high school to educate workers. But for now, we can entice a foreign high school educated worker to work at this church. Oh. Click on the indicated icon. Now agree to pay the fee. How much is it? 500. And then he comes with the next ship, I think. Excellent. Over oh, yeah, there's time, the ship symbol here. will come to your island on board the freighters that stop at the dock. Some will be those that you've hired in this matter. Others will come on their own free will, seeking a better life. Unfortunately, those who will come freely will be uneducated. We're still playing on like slow, that's why it's so awkward. I, I guess I cannot make it faster without aborting the tutorial? No. <laughs> it's forbidden. Okay. Let's take a closer look at your population, Presidente. Clicking on the population indicator will bring up Presidente. This is your nation's almanac, carefully compiled by myself. Click on any of the different list types to see different views of your people. Or click on the tab for militarists, on your religious, the communists, and capitalists, so intellectual, environmentalists. Press next. We should put them all in a bag and then hit it with a stick until they all, until they all uh, agree with done, me. Press exit. This is how I do politics. Presidente. As leader of the island, you also have the ability to issue edicts. Click on the edict mode. It is only fair, as a compensation for your enlightened rule, that you tuck away a little something for yourself. Yeah. Click on the economic button. That's only now, fair. click on the special building permit. Now consult with your advisor about this edict by clicking as indicated. Go ahead, Presidente. Issue the edict. Special building permit. With so much money being spent on building projects around the island, it is only right that El Presidente receives a taste for himself. We can pad the cost of all new construction by 20%, with 10% of the total cost going to El Presidente's Swiss Retirement Fund. <laughs> the other 10% would keep the arrangement quiet. The downside is that the intellectual faction will perceive that something is amiss and your respect with them will be slightly diminished. Oh well. Well done, Presidente. Now press the edict button again to toggle it off. Presidente, a few more general tips. Over time, the people will grow restless. After eight or nine years, they will demand an election. If you do not agree, you will anger the people, possibly leading to an uprising. If you agree to the election, you will have to strive to make them happy enough to earn their vote. Sure. Make your people happy by paying them well, providing good housing, medical care, churches, and entertainment. Even with these precautions, they may grow restless over time. So be sure to build guard posts so that your soldiers make their presence felt. <laughs> They still haven't built this, uh, this house. Where are, no, where, where are the workers? So these are the Teamsters. These guys carry stuff around between, for instance, a farm and a grocery store. And these here are supposed, I think these are the builders. Yeah, the construction office. You can see them, oh, they're working on the charge. Oh yeah, because I gave high priority to building the church. They're here. They're working on the church. How is the progress going with the church? Who knows? You know, 
it's supposed, I think it's going to fill up yellow from the bottom and then go up. And when it's done, it becomes a church. Uh, yeah. Make sure your soldiers are especially well paid. A military coup d'etat is not a pretty sight. Especially not for me. <laughs> Build I don't want to see that. With logging camps, mines, and later factories. Once you have a fair amount of free cash in the treasury, you may wish to build an inexpensive hotel and a few tourist attractions. Locate these near a nice beach, away from the riffraff of daily tropical yeah, life. Yeah, they don't need to see that. If well managed, you will draw Yankee tourists with their fat wallets. Yankee doodle dandy tourists and their fat wallets. Presidente, my lessons draw to a close. There is more to be learned. But you will have to learn by experience. They can leave without the wallets again. You, <laughs> you may continue to play with this island indefinitely. Go ahead and turn the speed up. Or return to the main menu and start again on an island especially tailored to your desires. By clicking the circle button and choosing main menu. So, we're not getting any more tasks here, right? Unfortunately, this game isn't like a, an open world, do whatever you want type of game. I mean, it's not a bad thing if a game is that, but it ha offers more on top of it. You can do, I think you can do. Uh, you can, there is that mode. Wait, let's go back to the menu here. Boom. Yes. Start the actual game up here. Play a random map, uh, load a saved game, play a pre-designed scenario, yeah. There should be like 10 scenarios or something. Oh, there we go. Born again, Frutas, Ilas, Isla de la Forest, de Foresta, Los X con, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about 10 missions. Difficulty very hard, yeah. <laughs> That's the first mission. Oh, this is a little bit loud. Oh, I don't, oh, wait, it starts at the bottom, maybe? Hard, very hard, hard. Is this a joke? Ridiculously hard. <laughs> um, moderate. Prisoner's Colony. This wasn't later, the Tropico games were more like had like a story and then you would progress in a story and play the first mission and then the second mission would build into the first mission and so on and here it's like just scenarios maybe it even changed with the second tropical so these are all very hard to hard nothing is easy you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna peace out of this how can i make my own map here oh there we go you can set the vegetation, the minerals. Yeah, yeah. Water coverage. Yeah, 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 yeah. The population. Difficulty rating. When it gets it gets easier when you have more people. Uh, water coverage gets easier. Wait, the vegetation gets harder. Lush. Oh, no, wait. Whoa, 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 Oh, more water makes it harder. Okay, let's go with average. More population makes it easier. Let's go with average. More minerals. Makes it easier. Okay, so let's go with this. And you can hit the elevation of the island. It's that makes it harder, the more elevated it is. Ooh, it makes it easier to flatter. We can make a flat. A flatty McFlattington. No, that's too annoying. Uh, let's go with this. Victory goals. A palace in history. To secure your palace in history, pursue a blend of goals. Happiness for your people, a strong economy. We're not, we're not going to play through this game. This is a couple of hours long. The way I play them, it's a, a, another couple of hours longer. Because I really like, like to take my time. Special circumstances. Let's go with... Um, 
It's open-ended. Political stability, mostly easy. Sure. Oh, there we go. Finally, the Presidente. The Che Guevara. Fidel Castro e Vita de Perón. Yeah. It, they're definitely missing the German guy. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why they left him out. <laughs> Wait, Lou Bega? This wasn't, wasn't this like the man, Mambo number five guy? Mambo number five. I gotta check something quickly. When did the song come out? Mambo number five. Instrumental mambo and jazz dance song by Cuban musician uh, Lubega. German singer Lubega sampled the original in 1999, so two years before this game came out. Interesting. Antonio El Bombastico. Sure. Let's get this guy here. He's a naturalist. A biblical scholar. Intellectual pollution, building costs, environmental faction likes us, intellectual like us more. We get less pollution, but the buildings cost more. And we can just pick one of these. The booze baron. Communists like farmers. So we, we want to... Oh, here, and then there's the superpowers, USA and Moscow. I mean, and, uh, and Russia, of course. I think I'm going to go with naturalist. It doesn't have a drawback on uh, political factions. Rise to power. Communist rebellion. Uh, communist relation to Russia. Liberty minus 10. No, I like high liberty. Elected as fascist. Yeah. Liberty. They have lots of liberties. Oh, be, oh yeah, like back then in Germany, yeah. They could say whatever they wanted about their Führer. Rara, rara. That's why they had such a high liberty. Installed. They, I bought it. I just bought the election. Yeah, I'm just going to buy it. Yeah, I'm the president now, you know. Hello, everyone. I'm the president. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we were elected as a fascist. What else do we have? Qualities. <laughs> uh, green thumb. Factory productivity. That's not good. It means less money. Charismatic, overall respect, and TV dogma. Sure. Financial genius. The intellectual don't like us if we're empathic. Incorruptible. The intellectuals like us. Swiss banking prohibited. No, 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 no. We need them. I need my Swiss banking. I'm Swiss after all. Oh, scholarly intellectuals. Oh, let's go with hardworking. Productivity plus 10%. Compulsive gambler. No. Uh, short-tempered? No. We have Tourette's. We have Tourette's. It's a, it's a disease. Nobody, we're so misunderstood. We're telling the super superpowers to go F themselves. But we didn't mean it. <laughs> the great Schmuzula. We're a flat -ra 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 -ra. Okay, this is all bad. Oh, it's flaws. Okay. Compulsive liar, ugly, alcoholic, the religion, we got a something, um, compulsive gambler, is that, that's not that bad, right? We just lose a little bit of money, the gambling binge. College is pro 
prohibited because I'm a moron. Nobody can go to college. <laughs> Pompous. Issue ED. No, I don't want to have the USA on my bad side from the beginning. Cheapskate. Cannot pay any workers more than... Uh, the Great Schmuzula. Okay, let's let's put the word the great schmuzula. Let's go. <laughs> ah, we're gonna schmoozle them up and then we're gonna schmoozle them down. We're gonna schmoozle them in all directions. I just love this music. Here we go. Campinas. Okay, so what did we learn in the tutorial? Nothing? <laughs> we learned nothing. We learned nothing. Ah, oh, crap. So let's see. I, I remember that what I used to do early in the game is take care of food because food is important housing industry oh here farms and mines we can do this we can do like a, a fishery what is this called a fisherman's wharf and then you can see where it's green it's a good area I don't know if, if the, yeah, oh, it's a fisherman. So the fisherman's wharf, does it go out in a boat or no? I'm just going to put it down here. I see. Shoo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's build a couple of houses. I could just plop down. Tenement is 4,000. Let's not plop one of these. This one is 1,000. Ah, I need to. No, no, you can leave. Uh... They can live. In... <laughs> they can keep living in these huts here. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, uh... Oh, man, I got to be smart. You got to make some money. We're low on, on the moolah. Don't have any moolah. Oh, we got a couple of farms. We can check them out. What do we have here? A corn farm. We got five farms. We got another corn farm, and another corn farm, and then and they're all corn farms. Um. Let's check out here. So this is corn, right? No, this is corn. Pineapple, coffee, uh, sugar. So dark green is good. Sugar, rah, rah, rah. banana, banana, banana. We can make bananas. You switch to bananas. I think it's important that you have different food also. If, if your people can only eat corn, they're, they're going to be unhappy. All right, let's see. Where, got I, where did I... Banana. Papaya. Papaya, papaya. This is good for papaya. This, this, this is already banana. We can switch this to papaya. Okay. 
cattle herd. Cattle herd conditions? Not very good. They're all patched up somehow, dark and bright. Shoopadidum. <laughs> goat herds. We could have a goat herd somewhere. You know? Goat herd. Let's build a goat herd. A rancher, right? Farmer, a rancher. Uh, cattle, goats. To make the game faster, let's put it on medium. Is it still slow? This is slow, very slow, slow. This is normal speed. Oh. We have the minimum requirement. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should have played this on my Windows XP PC. It would have been better, but I couldn't have shown you the intro because the intro is like freezing all the time. And I kind of wanted to play this uh, original edition where we have a, a beautiful box. I already have it, if it works. Why should we play any other edition? If you want to see the smoother version or whatever, then you can play the Steam version. Or, or GOG. That barking, by the way, that's not my dog, it's in the game. Barking that you just heard. My dog is currently sleepy. He's resting. Oh, wrong screen. There we go. Uh, so they're not... Oh, they okay. Now they're building this here. So this is how it looks when they build it. So we got normal, then we got fast. And very fast. It's definitely, it's definitely, uh, the game's definitely slow. It's not that enjoyable. But this is how it would have looked if you had a Windows 98 PC with a graphic card from 95 or 96 or something. Play the game from 2001. And it's a, I think it's a 3D game, so it uses the Voodoo 2 accelerator that I have in my PC. I would say it's definitely playable. So why did this this ship, this boat or ship go to the Fisher Wharf if it's not even built? So we got two types of... Can I click on these? I think some of them are tourist and some of them are freighter ships, cruise ships. And they just brought new people here, yeah? And then you can like, uh... Oh, it's just the... The dock. You can say if you want to block new people coming to your island or not. Uh, I should be, um... should definitely build a road. Let's build a road. That goes all the way to the most important place of the island, my palace. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get more important than my palace. I'm sacrificing myself for the people, after all. So it's only fair that I get the best of the best while the rest is starving. <laughs> uh, wait, that might have come. That, that might have come across wrong. I, I meant it in a good way. Yeah, meant it in a good way. We should make some. Oh, I'm running out of. What? Four hundred. I have four hundred. We're gonna run out of cash. We can. I'm sure we can take a credit, right? Addict. Oh, let's let's release. Let's release the Kraken. No, let's issue an edict. I can't because I don't have enough. I have 160. Help. I need a... Uh, praise the America. Praise Russia. 
So I praise America when they're watching, and when the Russians are watching, I praise Russia, and then I get money from both. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Political, religious... Oh, what is this? You're playing an open-ended game, there's no scoring, you're, you're, run your island in whatever fashion to please... Oh, there's no scoring! Oh no! We gotta start over now, I'm really, I really care about the score! In a game from, uh, was it 23 years ago? I'm sure everybody's still tracking the scores there. And here we have social. Where can we get prohibition? No. Anti litter. Food for the people. I literally need to have money for me, addict. Special building. Oh, no, we're running really low on money. Early elections. Do people love me? No, they're neutral. They don't hate me. Isn't there a way to... I could have sworn there's a way to... To get a credit. A bungalow. Oh, this is for tourists. We could put the bar somewhere so that people can go and they can drink themselves into a stupor and forget about me ripping them off, ruining their lives. How much is this? Eight hundred. I'm gonna put oh a pub. Yeah, I'm gonna put the pub down there. I think it makes money too, or does it make people happy? We can set the price. Yeah, we got a pub. We got oh I made some money, I got a thousand. Let's start building some gulags before the people get unhappy and it's too late. You gotta lock them up first. I'm gonna issue the new edict where everything is forbidden. Just everything is forbidden, so everyone's already a criminal from the get-go, and I can just Lock them away at my leisure. <laughs> yeah, sorry, got to lock you up. You did? Did you do something? Yeah. Well, everything is forbidden, and something is a part of everything. So off you go. <laughs> Let's see. Now, in on a more in a more serious manner, we have no money. I can speed the game up, I guess. Let's make it super fast. And then see what happens with the money. 170? Oh, it goes away. <laughs> it's not good. Money can't go. No, it goes away. Oh, I hate it. We should have built... You know what? I know what we should... We should have built Teamsters. We should have built another group of Teamsters. So they can transport. Look, we got like five farms. We got a fishery. We got a ranch here. They won't be able to transport all the stuff with just one Teamster. Uh, your garage. Carajo! With just one Teamster's office. Carajo! 2,000 to build one. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> I want to make it a little bit louder. For those that don't like the music, Can't help you. I like it. This game isn't just the same without music. So that's why this video probably gets demonetized, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just about the game here. And in all my other videos, it's just about the money. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Oh man. I think this game, this Tropico, Tropico 1, oh, they're building the road. Uh, was the one with the best music. Wait, how did I lose a thousand? Didn't I have a, a thousand? Now I have 180. 
The buffoons are making me lose money. Oh, okay, so these are the, the okay, the farms. Because the farms aren't selling anything yet. That's why we're missing money. And we gotta, we gotta, oh! We gotta, oh! 3,000, 4,000! Okay, now we gotta do something with the money. It needs to be something that is not stupid, okay? So I can't be listening to you. Tenement? Here they pay rent, right? If I build a tenement. They build... They have, so they, they want to live close to... Invalid uh, position. Oh, you gotta... You gotta... Oh, you gotta tear them down first. We gotta tear those huts down. Yeah. Sorry. Oh wait, I can do this, right? This is very loud! You can't bulldoze. We're gonna bulldoze these. As soon as they're gone, we're going to build uh, the apartment complex. People are probably not going to like me bulldozing them, but they're going to like me more when they can live here. Now, let's see. We got to have uh, the guys need to come over and actually bulldoze them. I think it's the construction office, guys. Yeah, they're removing them. They gotta remove all of them. Inform me, I don't want to read the book. We're gonna have to pause the game as soon as they're gone. We gotta remove two more buildings. Oh, I have 11,000! I'm an 11,000 there! And... Boom! No, it's not gone. There we go. Bam! The future is now. All right, sp set speed to fast. And do I have any? I have another nine thousand. I need to set up some projects. Um, I want to set up another Teamsters office. I'm going to set it up here next to that one, or maybe further up here. Can put it down anywhere. Do 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 do. Okay. Then we can build a road that goes to my uh, almost set to my temple. <laughs> I can't see anything from back here. There we go. To my palace. There we go. It's really, it's really slow, the game. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to play it. I should have played it on my Windows XP PC. Should we find out if it runs better on Windows XP? I 
think the intro don't work, but the rest should work. I'm gonna save it here, since I have already all my PC stuff plugged in. We can switch, I mean, my cables and everything, mouse and keyboard, I'm gonna use everything. We're gonna use the same cables. And I have the game already installed, if I remember correctly. So let's uh, let's switch to the Windows PC, uh, to the Windows XP PC. So the CD is out. We just gotta switch the PCs. We can keep all the cables connected. And I think we're good. Yosh. Little rascal is a little bit heavy. So you can see there's, uh, this is my, I think I called it Time Warp. Uh, Windows 98 second edition, we got a Pentium 200 MMX CPU, 256 megabytes of RAM. We got a Matrox MGA Millennium GPU, 3D Accelerator Voodoo 2, Creative Sound Blaster 16, and an 8x CD-ROM. The first CD-ROM I got, I forgot that uh, they had different speeds back then. I got a 52 one, I put the first CD in and it literally sounded like a plane was taking off. <laughs> and it scratched the CD too, so be careful. This one is the eight, is, is eight speed, but it's a little bit too fast to be uh, authentic 90s, I think, or 95, but it works, it works fine. And once you set this up for for MS DOS, you can't. You don't want to load new drivers. So this is my second retro PC. It's about 2000 built with Windows XP, Service Pack 3. We got Pentium 3000 megahertz. We got about double the RAM than the other one. We got a GeForce 2 GTS and the Sound Blaster RDG2 in it. It's much smaller. And I hope it explodes. Good old Windows XP. I didn't make this uh, this plopping noise, by the way. <laughs> that was, I think it was this uh, this pop up here. Your computer might be at risk. It isn't. It's not connected. We're good. We're safe, and we're also good. Put Tropico in. Do this little rascal here. And then let me zoom in back here. Oh yeah, let's go to this screen first. There we go. There we have it. It's actually not freezing. But we got lots of uh, screen tearing, unfortunately. This, this will not be in the game. A and if there's any Windows XP and... Uh, 98 experts here knowing how to to resolve the screen tearing please tell me i mean with this with this pc with this newer pc i probably know it's um i think i have to download the, the drivers and the software for the geforce 2. i didn't find them at archive archive org i think i got the wrong software but yeah this is spontaneous to play this on the xp windows this will not be in the game, the screen tear. <laughs> but for, for my for my older PC, the problem is that you can select like lots of resolutions in the graphic cards and then it, they come you need to select the specific monitor like Dell 1780. And then it comes with Hertz numbers on the side with refresh rates. It's ah oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare and I love it. No, I love it when it works. I don't love the nightmare. 
All right, let's um, let's uh, recreate the last mission. I think I'm gonna make it even flatter. Let's get less water here, uh, more vegetation, more minerals, more people, more better. 44% difficulty. Let's go for a victory goal this time. Political stability. Uh, too easy. Okay. Oh, this is hard and easy. It's not bal like a balance. Okay. Game length uh, extra long. Oh, it just ends. Special circumstances. Immigrants out! No, we're not going to go with that. For now, we need immigrants in. But sometimes, in, at least in the more modern tropical games, you need you need a, an office where you can control the immigrant flow. Sometimes you have you can't have uh, more immigrants. It's sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's good. You want to control your uh, your tropical paradise. Otherwise, <laughs> you might end up on the nose. Uh, okay, so what do we pick? Then, wait, the booze baron. Rum. So if we focus on rum, we can be a booze... No, no, but let's go with naturalist, right? We'll have advantages with environmentali environmentalists, intellectuals. Yeah, okay, I read this already last time. Uh, we were democratically elected as a fascist. I do love fascism in real life, too. Uh, charismatic and hardworking... One could say I'm a fascist, a fictionata. <laughs> Fascism. Uh, okay, now. TV dogma. So we can control the people with the TV station or radio station. Or control them, you know. It's like uh, no, it's like when you watch TV and you think you're just watching TV or the news. And then, <laughs> yeah, in reality, somebody's controlling you. You're watching the, what is it? The charismat, you're watching the TV dogma. <sighs> okay, that's Compulsive Gambler and uh, the Great Schmuzula. I'm the Great Schmuzula. <laughs> We're schmoozling it up. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. So we did everything again like like last time. We got the same same uh, dictator, the same settings. I think the graphics are better now. Uh, oh yeah, we got a lot better graphics and it is also way smoother, but it's because the, the GPU is like uh, five times better. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Hmm. Good old Tropico. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong button. A is for Almanac. We want to use these here. And these little rascals here. This this is like WASD is a, that is a, a future thing. This is crazy future technology. So let's put up a a fisherman's wharf. No, this is not like wharf from Star Trek. It's a wharf. It's not Commander Wharf. It's a wharf where you fish. Get it? Yeah. It's not Commander Wharf. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. Completely in the green. We could actually. Can we make a second fisherer? Fisherer. <clears throat> Stop with your stupid jokes. Make a second fishery here. The map is different, huh? Okay, and... And the dam. Now we're gonna check out the resources. So this is overall cor crop. This is corn. So corn would be... Wait, is bright or dark good? I think dark is good, right? Because bright then turns into yellow. So dark is good? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, bright is bad. Okay. 
So pineapple bad, coffee bad, sugar bad, tobacco maybe, tobacco maybe, tobacco maybe, banana. It's the banana rama. Papaya, papaya, papaya. Okay, let's switch this one here to papaya. And let's switch that one to... Oh, corn would be great here, huh? Switch two to papaya. Cattle and... What do we have here? Goats? It's like everywhere is bad, right? Dark green would be good, but we can't have goats. Oh, there's an ancient temple here. An archaeological site. I zoomed in too much there. All right. <coughs> Excuse you. What else do we need? Oh, we could make a, a wood choppery. Uh, logging camp is 1,600. We can't turn this. We can make it. We can make one here. I don't know if the trees regrow. I have no idea if they regrow. Probably not. We can make a new one then. I don't know. Oh, wait, the wrong scene again. I don't know what it is with this music, but... It's hard to sit still. So, let's see. We got minus... Uh, we got minus money. Let's switch the game to fast. Oh, this is very smooth. In the, in the Windows 98 versions, they were teleporting all over the place. So this is a game where the sound has to be quieter than the music. At least in my opinion. Yeah, thank you. I don't want to read. If I wanted to read, I would read a book. <laughs> I'm just going to professionally, professionally ignore the financial reports and assume we're doing fine and dandy. We just lean back and wait for the big money. We're gonna make it big. Some would even say bigly. <laughs> uh, we could put a pub down somewhere so that the people got a place where they can drink themselves into a stupor. Unfortunately, you can't just build, uh, you can't build over huts, which I have to say is irritating and annoying, because that's like a standard that's uh, pretty normal in modern games. So, should we build a pub here? Do we even want a pub? <laughs> Let's just build a pub. I think something important is the armory. Or you can get the Iron Man armor. Wait, uh, the marketplace is very important. Because people have to get food from each farm. And if you, or for the fishery, for instance. And if you have a market, then I think the, the Teamsters bring the food to the marketplace. And the Teamsters' job is to walk around and transport stuff. But the, the job of people isn't. So they have a short way. We, we gotta build a... They, they, you know, so they, they don't have that large distances to go back and forth all the time. We should build some housing, shouldn't we? 
Build some housing, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Build some housing. Should be too. Unable to flatten the ground due to the developer's mom. Oh. But she's in the game. How much is this? Two? How many people can live in this house? Does the game tell me? No. The Almanac. The Almanac. Purple politics, people politics, uh, economy lists. It doesn't. It doesn't tell us how many. Ah oh, man, I gotta figure this out. I gotta crunch the numbers. Housing. So there's gotta earn the buildings in the game. Oh here, apartment. Houses six families. We got the house in house uh, one family. Entertainment house is 12. House basing quality 35. Low. It's, it's, a, it's a crappy house. It's a low quality house. But it houses 12. That's like one of these is like 12 of these. I mean, uh, one, of, one of these is like 12 of these and it costs only four times the price. Gosh darn. And we have enough money to... Oh, we have enough money to... Okay, we got we got the tenement. Okay, we got the tenement. We got a marketplace. We got a bar. Is this a bar? No, a pub. I think it's called a pub. Which is something completely different than a bar. <laughs> and we got uh, two fishermen's wharf. What Wharfs? To fishermen, Commander Wharfs. Uh, that almost hurt a little bit. That's how, the, how good that joke was. <laughs> when it hurts, it means it's good. We got a restaurant. We can plop one. We can pop a restaurant down somewhere. You know? We can make like a... Wait, can we? Oh, we can't turn... I mean, we can't ro rotate the restaurant. Can't rotate it. They have it. It's got like the the seats in the wrong direction. If you want, you want to watch the sea. You don't want to. You don't want to watch uh, the slums from the restaurant. Okay, we'll just put it down. Put it down here. And I have the feeling we're missing something essential. Something essential. A lumber mill. Wait, the lumber mill is where they... Oh, the logging camp and the lumber mill. The lumber mill is 5,000. We could build one. We'd be making so much... <clears throat> I mean... I don't care at all about money. <laughs> don't care at all. Lumber mill... Make a lumber mill there, and then comes the mola. And of course, people want a um, an immigration office. What is the immigration office for? Is it for immigration? <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I got to know the exact mechanics. I mean, obviously, it's for immigration. I need to know what what it actually does in game. Souvenir shop, nightclub, casino. I love, I love having the manual with this. And now the sun is guys disappeared behind a cloud. Um, I have, might have to turn on some artificial lights here. Immigration office. And the more bureaucrats working here, and the higher the skill level, the greater the immigration impact. Oh, we can choose open door immigration, skilled workers, tropical first, love it or leave it. We need this. This is a very, very, very important part of tropical. Be able to control control your immigration. Otherwise, you know, it's the news. We're gonna get executed. Your is dropping, Presidente. 
my popularity is dropping and then then let's execute everyone uh, I'm gonna turn these lights on here okay um, so immigration immigration office is down we get teamsters we might need more teamsters let's put one Uh, where are they here? Where the ro the road is? Teamsters, put them down maybe here. So they can transport the logs and everything. And at some point we gotta make roads. The road and the road initiative. Now I need to keep the button pressed. El Presidente. Okay, let's build some some nice roads everywhere. To connect these logging camp and can't afford it. Nine hundred. No screaming. Oh, this this road is bankrupting me. Everyone better walk on the road from now on. I hope it's not de decorative. <laughs> Ruben Esteves, leader of the religious faction, is complaining about the lack of a church. Well, off to the gallows with him. <laughs> now we gotta build a church at some point, obviously. But first we'll continue making the roads here. The road and the road initiative. We can build. Can, how much is the church? Six thousand six hundred. They're still not building the road. Oh, it's been a while since I had a uh, refreshing beverage. Despite the impression it sometimes makes in my videos, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, we can build. Now we can. Yeah, we can build the church. Okay. Uh, build it here. But now we're playing Tropico. I need a refreshing one. I need a cold one. I need to crack open a cold one. So let's see, the, the road, is the road in the game, is it, I mean, as an object, is it, is there a description of it that says it makes movement a lot faster, or is it just like... Sir, I don't want to read, I want, don't, want, don't want to hear about it. Talk to the hand with your almanac. With your uh, with your report, there's nothing about roads in here. This book actually isn't that high quality. If you look after after the the printing in the book, right? No, it isn't. Actually, it isn't bad. It's a lot better than the populist manual we checked out last week. But it's still cheap, black and white. But it's printed well, it's not like... Even if you go really close... Uh, where's the... There we go. If you go into it... It's like good, it's better quality. It doesn't become like... I don't know, with the populist manual, I don't know how to describe it. It looked almost a little bit ra rast rastered, rastered. So I guess we're gonna just gonna have to observe the roads, and we're gonna figure out if they're gonna actually walk on them or. Uh... Oh, this is such a much much better experience than uh, Windows 98. So I checked it out, and Windows XP released 2001, the same year that this game was released. The population of Tropico grows quickly. We now have over 100. But uh, as you can see, it's not. It, it, it wasn't made with Windows Presidente, 
XP I on mind. Some of your people may be calling for an election next year. If you lose an election, you lose the game, by the way. You really want to lose the game. Oh, people are unhappy. So, look, the church is being built. Be happy again. The church is being built. Yeah, we need to make people happy. We need to build um, 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 um apartment complex. So this is maybe better than the other one. Because this is trash quality. How much is this? 20... No, 5,000. Can I put this down here? That would be the perfect spot. To get the rabble out of the way. I'm gonna get the rabble out of the way. Why do I have a statue? I want to tear these houses down. I don't want to build the stupid statue. Why did he can't get... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bulldoze. We're going to make him happy for the next election, you know. Now we have to think about the next election, not long term. It's like in real life, you know, when a, uh, there's like a... Elections coming up and then suddenly there's a Suddenly the taxes go down until the election is over and then they go up again twice as much <laughs> Yeah That's how it is in the game too They're removing that one hut we can build this Come on come on come on We still don't have power Or electricity by the way. All right. We have elections 12 months the people love me. There's no time to waste with elections. <laughs> they love me so much. I already know how they're going to go. You know? I win everything. Okay, you know what? We don't have space for this. Let's build a couple of these houses then. For people that want to be uh, special. And don't live in the big houses. Yeah? Building. Oh, I have 31,000? Oh, I can build lots of... Oh, let's, let's get rid of the uh, homeless problem like ASAP. Oh, we need, to, we need to really get rid of it. We're, I think that's the biggest issue currently. Just one family per house, though. That sucks a little bit, huh? The logging camp. Okay. We can tear down this and build a, build one of those apartment complexes then. Co complexes. They're very complex. Uh, okay, now, now. Oh, the Almanac. Informe. No, this is not, is this, isn't this the Almanac? Overview. Okay, let's see. Happiness, very low. No, threats to power, low. Swiss bank account, nothing yet. We gotta change that. We gotta remedy that. Fill our pockets with money. Income disparity. Average age. Oh, we can raise the minimum wage as well. Democratic expectations, moderate. How do we see the ones that are running against us in the elections? Oh, it's 1957. We need, I think we need, um, do we need more, do we, I think we need more builders, this takes too long. Uh oh, I scrolled out too far. Now the computer explodes. Uh, we got Teamsters office there, or a builder's construction office, I think it's called. So let's put one also here. Presidente, the election uh, you like, we can make an arrangement to have. There is no need for such actions. But what are the numbers? No more than 20% of the ballot can be reinterpreted. <laughs> uh, the voters do not. No, we will not. Uh, we'll... Oh, here's the elections. Uh oh. No, we're good. 39 to 24. 
I won. I mean, let's save the game quickly before we surprise lose the game. Here we go. Save. Oh. Uh, what did I say? Immigrations office. Do we need more people? Open door immigrations. Um, let's check out. Is everything full with workers? No. We need more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need especially need a couple of these here. Uh, for 500, we can hire a priest from overseas. And then the next one is 600. Uh, because, because we don't have any schools. We don't have any uh, educated people because of, because of you. Because you watched wrong again. We don't have any schools and we're just simpletons and buffoons here. So I hope uh, you're going to focus a little bit in the future. That is just inhumane. What you created again here. The newspaper. Oh yeah, I think in a diplomatic min ministry. Oh, high school. So, uh, we need money, right? We need money. Without money, it doesn't... Oh, we have money. We need more money. <laughs> no, we need, like, seriously, we need um, money as a foundation to build other stuff. Otherwise, no money can build anything. You build a cannery that cans all, uh, right? The, the cannery, I think it cans all the excess food that we produce and then sells it. There we go. Cannery. Refinement of fish, pineapple, coffee into canned fish. Oh, it doesn't say anything. Oh, it needs electricity. Oh, no, the, there's an upgrade for a flash freezer. Oh, this song is also awesome. I just, I just love it. There's, I think there's no game where I like the music so much. Like in Tropico 1. This was something so fresh and so new back then. I mean, uh, which game has just this type of music in it? In the in game, in the, in the year 2000, no game has that music in it. And this fits perfectly with the, with the theme of, you know, Caribbean, uh, Latin American uh, setting. Large fountain. Oh, we need a large fountain in front of our castle. And maybe a couple of statues of me. Maybe here for the people that come onto the island that just know. Ah, it's the uh, Presidente on his horse. And everywhere where you come across my statue, you need to bow down to it. Otherwise, you're going to disappear in the gulag. But it's because I'm such a generous and benevolent president that sacrifices himself for the people that... Yeah, the least you can do is show some respect. Praise U.S. Diplomatic ministry can't... Oh, we need a... Uh, yeah. Tax cut. Oh, this is what you can do before the... Before people are... Uh, before the elections. Mardi Gras! This makes people happy too. Uh, special building permit. This gives us money for the Swiss bank account. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I'm not corrupted. I don't want money in my Swiss bank account. <laughs> Consider it done, my president. Hmm? What? Uh, did, no, no, I didn't issue the edict. No, no, I think you must have misheard and miswatched and miss everything. To, I wouldn't do that. I'm not corrupt after all. So these guys are taking forever to build. Uh, let's 
Oh, because we're super slow. Okay, let's go fast again. And this one needs to be high priority. Teamster's office. No, we're not the Teamster's office. The, the sec didn't I build the second construction office? I didn't. I wanted to, but then I... Then you distracted me by watching wrong, and I uh, didn't, yeah. Build one here. We're in high priority on this one. Keep switching to the wrong scene. I gotta change this. Yeah, I gotta change the layout of my buttons here. Uh, so the bank. Does the bank make money? I don't know. What does the bank do in this game? Let's check that out as well. The bank. Um, I'm too lazy. I need to zoom in more when I check out my manual, huh? Slush fund feeds money to Swiss bank. Oh, these are options. Oh, urban development. So that building is cheaper. Tourists offshore banking is an attraction for tourists. Presidential slush fund. Okay, so the, the, the bank doesn't just... We don't need it for now, basically. was such such a good times game i can really recommend playing this if, if you if you like what you've seen you can probably get it on steam on good old games you will have a great you have time been in office for 10 years now presidente keep up the good work Let's build some more houses so the people can get out of their of the slums Oh, they built the other construction office, so now they should be constructing stuff faster. Yeah, yeah, because it took forever. We have too many things to build and too many people building things. Because of you. <laughs> uh, um. We can connect... Uh. Let's connect the two the wharves with the harbor here. I think they can move faster on the roads, right? No, that's not the fuck... Shit. That's not what I want to build. Oh, well. Whatever. Having more roads doesn't hurt us. It's gonna make poof... Uh, poofle. I mean, people move faster. It's gonna make poofle meep faster. <laughs> poofle meep. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? Oh, we're gonna need... Uh, clinic but the criminally insane like my political opponents they certainly would have to be criminally insane to oppose me so off into the off to the madhouse with them why can't I put it down anywhere They got their trash houses everywhere. Uh, 
And they're still building the logging camp. Oh yeah, once the logging camp is built, we're gonna make even more. Oh, look at the money. We're, we're gonna make even more money. My president, the people, they suffer for lack of medical treatment. I know I'm trying to build this house, but their garbage houses are in the way. Their filthy slums are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just gotta build it somewhere, yeah. Uh, I got to build. The, I can build two clinics, I guess. There's lots of people living here. I think I'll be able to to put it here, right? Uh, let's go to pause mode. Oh, here. Okay, let's put the clinic down here. Put a clinic down here. What, 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 is the, what is the thing called where they can get food? Here, the marketplace. We got the one here. Let's put one uh, here as well. Make sure everyone's got food and uh, medic medical help medic medic care medical care the medics care so much they care too much oh we got mine we can mine gold elliot gold <laughs> what a joke this is my favorite joke in the world okay let's see minerals um Iron. What is this? Box, 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 bauxite. Gold deposits. That is very far away. It's too far away for now. What is this? Overall. Iron deposits. We could build an iron mine uh, here and here. Build an iron mine. One here. One here. Do I have to select what they're going to mine? Oh, we can uh, upgrade. Or expand the the mines. Can we expand other buildings too? Not the restaurant. Not the marketplace. What is this? Is that a bug? Oh, the church is full. Oh, we need another church. Put another one here, okay? Make sure everyone is happy. How can we see uh, the different factions? Happiness 34. Oh, view factions here. Decent militarists. Oh, we need military. Communists. Capitalists and religious people are cool. Intellectuals are fair. Environmentalists are close. What does close mean? They're close to getting executed. That's why they're close. Close to getting strangled. Newspaper. Let's build a newspaper too. Does it have like a certain area where it uh, where it influences people or? Uh, 
They're not building the houses very fast. I think I have too many projects that I told them to build. Wait, we can upgrade. Can we upgrade the castle? I need to hire more castle. More bodyguards. I think it will make the militarists happy and it will make me safe. Special up training. You need to acquire experience 50% faster, but rigorous training increases the job happiness. It decreases it. No. Uh, the lumber mill. We also need to hire people. We need to hire people for everywhere because we're idiots on this island. We're all buffoons, cretins, and imbeciles. But loggers don't need to... Oh, we can upgrade the logging camp. Horticulture station. It causes areas that have to be cut down to regrow at the race. Oh, the trees regrow. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Tool shop. Decreases cutting time per tree. Okay, well, just build both. Oh, that's why. Oh, they're regrowing anyways, but with the culture, cultural... No, not the cultural. The horticulture station. They grow faster. Nobody's in the clinic because we have no doctor. I need to... Okay, I know the next thing that we need. We need to build 10 more fishermen's wharfs. No, just kidding. We need to build a, uh, a high school. Yeah. Shoop doop doop. Shoop boop boop. Shoop a dee doom. And shoop shoop. School and we can build some housing here. Some big old and modern, no, some modern blocks of living happiness. Living happily. Of living happily ever after. Of living unhappily forever. No, we can't put it down here because we need those trees. Should I make a third construction? I kind of want to take this this down and build two. Two of the better better houses before the next elections. Cannot build that here. Presidente, I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. Okay, go, come on, take it down. Hurry up, you cretins! Throw these buffoons out of out to the road, and then build two quick, big quickly build two more apartments. To build too quick. Uh. Okay, okay, stop, stop, drop and roll. Now we're building beautiful. What a building beautiful. <laughs> I need to remove these fountains here. <laughs> and then maybe I can build another apartment complex. Come on, come on, come on. There's elections coming up. Work your scarred little hands. Harder. It's a privilege to have a scar on your hands for El Presidente. That is a privilege and an honor. Come on, remove those fountains.
Remove the fountains. They're just not removing them. El Presidente, we're winning. 53 to 33. Okay, they removed the fountains. And I still can't build the house. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that sucks. Maybe they need to remove this here. No. Can't build two houses. That is unfork. That is what it is. Let's build a couple of smaller houses then. See, there's lots of slums here. Now this is also one of my favorite songs in this game. Wepa, 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 e wepa, chupi chupi dum. Fifty-two. Yeah, we're losing a little bit, but we're still fine. We don't have to start executing them just yet. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, maybe in two hours, maybe in five minutes. Oh, we need the police station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the corruption and the criminality. The corruption and the criminality. Uh... Where should we put one? Look here, it's getting red. Because of the slums, the scumbags living in poverty. We need to beat it out of them. <laughs> oh, I think I would be the best president in, in the world if I was a real president. We just beat it out of everybody. How dare you be poor? And then we put them up in the square. And everyone goes and beats them up and takes turns until they're not poor anymore. Pretty sure that works. Let's put the police station there. Do we need a fire department too? Presidente, we must alter now. What's the, oh, we got uh, 59 now. We gained a little boost. Yeah. We don't need to throw them in the gulag just yet. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe later. Yeah. But it will be their own fault. It's like when people hit themselves and you say, stop hitting yourself, right? And you just want to help them. Even if you're controlling their hands. <laughs> Oh, we can upgrade the lumber mill. Uh, decreases pollution, yes. Requires electricity. Okay, we don't have electricity yet. Oh. Rosa Barker, leader of the local capitalist, has been voicing concern about low profit activities build more industries or attract tourists yeah 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 so the tourists don't want to see the rabble that we have here uh, here we got logging camps i guess if we want to make a tourist beach or something oh we could make it here and there's like the old temple I'm sure they want to visit the old temple and leave all their money there. Their mullah. Yeah, that. Sure, we could build tourism here.
We can we can build an airport too at some point. So okay, if we want to build here, right? The first thing we need is a fisherman's wharf. No, just kidding. We need a construction office here, obviously. Builds everything. So they don't have to come over from the other side of the island. Build it here. And then we're going to build a road down there. Build a road. God damn it with this stupid book. Then it moves the book while I'm trying to build the road. The book poop pops up and then starts moving while I'm in the in the move road command. Okay, building the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this one here prow priority. <laughs> I'm gonna give this this build this construction office priority so it constructs faster. Uh, we got a bunch of people here that don't have a house. Build some housing here, right next to them, so they can move over. As soon as they're done being poor. <laughs> we got to beat the devil out of them, and then they're not poor anymore. Where's my... My government stuff? My statues? I need statues dedicated to me. <laughs> Your magnificence. The diplomatic ministry. Oh, we'll build one of those. So we can re interact with the superpowers. Oh, this song is also great. They're, they're like, almost all songs are fantastic. A couple of them are just good. I think it was one artist which did most songs. His name was also Dan. That's why his music is so good. I think his name was, uh, or is, I don't know if he's still alive, is uh, Daniel Indart. That's his name. Let's put it here. I am glad to see that you are putting something away for yourself in Switzerland. <laughs> it's for the good of all. It's for the best of all. I'm helping myself. I have to help myself because I, before I have to help others. Before I can help others, I have to help myself. To billions. <laughs> I need to help myself to billions. Let's build an apartment here. And uh, what is it called? Actually, let's use the correct names. An apartment complex. So let's check out our people because they have needs. And I'm known to care once a blue moon. And now is the blue moon. Congratulations, people. Today is the blue moon. Let's check out the needs. Now, of course, I'm just kidding. I want my people to be happy. Happiness. Let's see. What's bad? Religion is bad. Healthcare is bad. And job quality is bad. And that... That is because the payment is bad. So we'll leave the job quality where it is. We'll focus on the worst. That would be job quality. Damn. We could we could make better jobs. I guess tourism would be better jobs. That would take care of itself. We need to increase healthcare and religion. Healthcare and religion. What is it? How many people can go into it? 26,000 for a cathedral. I got some stupid farms in the center of my city. This is like horrible. Uh... Wait, what am I saying? What is what is this farm? Papaya. We can just uh... we can just. Uh... I'm just gonna rip it down here. 
screw up with your with your farms, your buffoons. This is becoming the city center. We're gonna have to build farms again, of course. Papaya, corn, and papaya. So we are gonna look for an area that is not so central that can grow that. Build a few farms. Uh, what was it? Papaya, corn, and papaya. For instance, here in the forest. <laughs> now we can, uh, yeah, here. What is this? Uh, corn. Pineapple. We can build more stuff, too. Maybe pineapple somewhere. Quiero pineapple. Here. Pineapple. Uh, coffee. Too far away for now. Sugar. Sugar here. I hope they're taking down the trees on their own. Tobacco. You gotta smoke them if you got them. Let's make a tobacco farm here, maybe. Banana. Banana. Uh, gotta make sure there's no other farm project here. Oh, there's, I think, an existing building. Banana here. Papaya. Here. Okay, we got enough. Corn! <laughs> That's the only way you can say it. Not, otherwise, nobody understands you if you don't say it like this. So this will create more low-quality jobs, but... It will, it will secure our food for the future, and... Uh, does the cannery need... I was looking at the cannery at some point, right? I'm put on a cannery somewhere, maybe here. Woo! Oh, there we go. They removed the crap. Now we can build a cathedral in a more central area. Uh, the high school, we already have one? No, we're working on it. Newspaper, we got one. The prison, we don't have a prison. Police station. Um, oh, we're gonna need... Hey, what's happening? Game is lagging. I think if I'm zoomed out like this, it still lags my Pentium 1000. Which is ridiculous. It's a Pentium 1000. That's such a high number. Ten times as old as... I mean, a lot more than ten times as old as, as humans get. Electric power plant. Oh, that could be... Should be a thing that we will... And I'm also investing in tourism since I built the road down there. We got a building, a uh, construction office. Uh, I forgot what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, housing. What? Not this crap. Let's zoom in one, maybe. Stop with this stupid book. Twenty years have passed since you took office, my Presidente. You have already outlasted all your predecessors. Yeah, it's the outlast the trials here. <laughs> We're outlasting them. Oh, we got so many projects. We need I think we need another construction. We need teams we need teamsters. We need the teamsters. Uh, Teamsters and the construction office. Bam and the bam. Ah, and then the game plays itself. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. 
Can we change something? Oh, immigration office. Wait, let's check out the people. We don't want too many people that don't like us. Let's check uh, people's needs. No, people's happiness. What is bad? The job quality. Healthcare. Oh, healthcare and religion. I'm doing something. I did something for the religion. Oh, but of course we don't have any... Any, any, whatever you need here. Cardinals, high priests. We need college educated people. Uh, we need, we need the medics. Presidente, I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. We need a college too, so we can. Yeah, yeah, let's build a college so we don't have to immigrate those people all the time. Why can't I put it down here? The high, they're still working on a high school. <laughs> God damn it. Do we have like something bigger than our oh, hospital? Requires electricity. Ah, that sucks. This is also one of my favorite songs. could make a clinic here maybe the problem in this game is it you, you just uh, I mean I don't know about you but if I play it then I just I built too much stuff but everything is like queued up as blueprints and it takes forever to build this to, to build this, this stuff uh, we should consider building some roads. Get lost with this stupid book. Make some roads. They're building the roads around the trash huts. The hut should be like uh, like trees. When you build something, then you just build over them, and then you don't have to 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 to. Uh... What is the word? Bulldoze. There we go. You don't have to bulldoze them one by one. That is just advanced buffoonery. Oh, we need more statues. I do need more statues of myself. And I can't find them here. Oh, there we go. So they know who's in charge. The benevolent leader of the universe. <laughs> the master of the universe. You know, it's hard. They can't all come to the castle and admire me in person, so they can't admire my statues. That's what they can do. How are these people here doing? They've built it already. So we can start with the tourism. We can have a... Uh, should we do a... Um... All right, so we're not going to play this game to the end. We're going to play it a little bit longer. I kind of want to... Hotel. Yeah, let's do some... Some tourism. You can't, you can't turn this around. Okay, let's do a hotel here. Cheap hotel here. Couple of bungalows. And... Presidente, yeah, I think I'm winning, right? I'm winning, and suddenly I lost. I'm winning. Uh, plant tree or shrub. Stop with these pop-ups. Plant some trees here to make uh, the area better looking. Prettier for the tourists. At least I hope they like plants. Otherwise they will, will execute them for treason if they don't like plants. 
college? Is there? Oh, the university. I mean, the, the high school is up. We can build the college now. There we go. Then we'll have our own uh, super qualified people. Do we have too many people coming in now? I can't tell. Oh, we don't have any immigration people. God damn it. Oh, yeah, and I just remembered we need to hire. We need to hire these people, too. We need to hire teachers. Uh, click here to a high school educated worker. So high school teachers educate high school students. But is that how it works in the USA? Oh, you know, in the Caribbean, I guess. I think you need to be a... You need to, to study at the university for that. <laughs> okay, let's not build more stuff. We're down to 5,000. Oh, we got the giant. Oh! Ho, ho! The cathedral. Yes, here, kiss my ring in the name of God. Ah. <laughs> and now leave all your money here, and then you will have a great time after you're dead. Lol. <laughs> Back to the sea. Dumps fish heads back into the ocean. No, we're not doing that. We're a theoretical environmentalist. This is getting expensive. Hiring more people here gets... The more you hire, the more expensive it gets. If you hire, like, uh, you know, educated people from overseas... Speed normal. So this is how the game is supposed to be played, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they built the buffaloes. I mean, the bungalows already. The buffaloes. Uh, oh, we have min minus 2,000. Okay, we got to wait until the money comes. So was it Tropico 2 where you, had to, where you could take uh, credits from banks and stuff? Tropico 1 didn't have it, it seems. Let's save the map here. I mean, this game is clear. Oh, wait. Are these ships all waiting to... Oh. Maybe we need another harbor. <sighs> we need another harbor. Where is the harbor? Can I have more than one? Here. The dock. It's called the dock. Okay. Everyone wants to dock, but uh, they can't. It's not good. I think I built this road too close to the dock. Yeah, we're going to have to build another dock. We're going to build it here. There's not... Later Tropico games had, like, tourist docks as well. Like, specific docks for tourists. But this one has just the dock. Where everyone docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got three ships waiting. That's, that's not efficient. Are they carrying fish? No, they're bringing wares. Probably need another Teamsters office with all the industry we built down here. Oh, we have one? I already built one. Look at these guys. They're living in the... Oh. We need a lot more residential buildings. Too close. We gotta terraform them into oblivion and then. We're gonna put the big apartment complex over over them.
I hope there's no... Oh, there's one here. One hidden behind the trees. And then no, we put one, we'll put one of these down here. As soon as they removed the rabble, the rabble rousers. Oh, the university is already up. Better gotta check it out. Nobody works here. Oh, we gotta hire 9,000 for one teacher. Oh, that is madness. Grigor Andropov, leader of the military faction, is. Oh. He's having fun with the goat. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> it's not illegal. More power to him. At least if. If the goat is male. <clears throat> uh, can I put it down now? No, we can't. What is, what is missing? There's one house there. Is there one house missing? You can't put it down. Oh, man. Okay, we gotta put down a couple of these then. What is wrong with this place? Unable to flatten the ground. The Almanac, the Almighty Almanac. Oh yeah, let's, uh, oh, we gotta wait for, no, we don't gotta wait for money. We got money. Um, electricity. Or the electricity. Isn't it under electric plant here? How much is it? 22,000. This is gonna pollute a lot, isn't it? Is it gonna give electricity around it, or do we have to like? Um, I'm gonna have to pause the game here uh, to find out how this works. Shubidubidum. Marketplace, so where is it? The marketplace of bad ideas. Electric substation. Oh, okay, so we get these distribute the electricity. We can build the power plant where we want. And then the electric substation uh, takes care of uh, distributing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put it where it's not... Uh, Annoying anyone. Put it here. Ah. The stupid ball mouse. Ah. There we go. I managed to put it down a minute. Hello! Okay. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> It's, it's, what is, nothing is happening if I click the button. Oh, maybe it's a uh, wireless connection here. Let's get this closer. Um, I forgot what I wanted to do now. Oh yeah, we need to have, we definitely need to have, oh, now it works great again. Maybe the receiver or the sender was too far away. So we gotta get some food, some some market. What is it called? Marketplace here. Uh, 
No, why do we need it there? We don't need it there. How can I build the build? Stop abort. Oh, cancel the construction. I'm afraid we might not have enough marketplaces for people to go eat. Where's the closest one for this for these people? Up here. Please, you cannot build that here. And uh, we got one on that side. Do we have anyone all the way up here? We don't. High school. Let's take care of the needs of the people. Are we we're gonna with the, the electric substations? Oh, we're gonna need more bars and restaurants. Or pubs. Definitely gonna need more pubs. Already stuffed everything full of houses. There we go. Good enough for now. So the more people on the map, the slower the game gets, obviously, right? The performance has suffered a little bit, I have to say. I'm not sure when exactly the Pentium 1000 uh, CPU did release, but... I did my homework when I ordered all the components, so I'm thinking it must have been around the year 2000, maybe a little bit plus. But I'm not sure anymore. The Pentium 200 on the other PC is, I think, around 95. It's, it's, I think it was somebody suggested in the internet to, to get a 200 if you want to be able to run really old games as well. Like games from the late 80s, maybe. So that's why the other one doesn't have a better CPU in it. I don't want to build the third one for the 80s. <laughs> I didn't even have one in the 80s. <clears throat> oh, we got everything. We even got the, the the big floppy disk on that one. Oh, look, the ships aren't uh, queued up anymore. That is great. We're going to have electricity soon. We got tourism going on as well. Yeah, yeah, we should actually, we should build some... Restaurant. We should build some restaurants down yonder, you know, you know, you know, you know, and some apartments for the people that serve the tourists, of course. This is also one of my favorites. love this one. We could build a an actual hotel instead of cheap hotels. I'm gonna build it further away from those buffoons. A pool. Is the pool making the area prettier or we'll just build some stuff a scenic outlook a souvenir shop a beach site oh yeah we, we do need a beach site I think people have to also work there huh Presidente I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. Off with their heads. 
is what I say. <laughs> yeah. No, it was not a joke. Execute them all. Yeah. You want to be executed too? No? Well, then do what I tell you. <laughs> oh, I feel so loved. Oh, we can't build anything because I invested too much. Look at this. <laughs> We're minus 5,000. Let's make sure we don't break the bank. As soon as we got the... Oh, we got the power. Okay, we got the power now. That means we can upgrade the lumber mill. If we have... Uh, we don't have the money. Presidente something something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the tourism area is... Uh, oh, yeah, we need to... We need to... We need to spread... Our love. We need to spread democracy. We need to spread nothing. We're minus. I wanted to spread my electricity, but uh, we're minus 10,000. Clearly something is going wrong. And I wonder who's to blame for it, huh? <laughs> we already know that. How are the elections going? Oh, we are, we are shattering them. We're smashing them into a pulp. 121 to 32. <laughs> Cheers. The World Bank has recognized Tropico's financial improvements by removing its salary caps and Tropical work, Tropical workers. Seven immigrants. Yeah, you know what? Immigrants, you can stay away unless you are skilled. Skilled workers. Because those, we have a, a large shortening and we need better job quality, which means we can't have that many jobs that uh, are low quality jobs. Otherwise, people will vote us out. So do the do these actually make the area better? I can't tell it. There is no. Usually there should be an overlay that shows us how beautiful it is. <laughs> uh, tourism low class, tourism middle class, tourism high class. Wait, there's an, tourism high class is bad everywhere. Oh, maybe you need to you build. Have for 30 years now, Your Excellency. Quite an accomplishment. You need to build more stuff. Tourism middle class. We have a middle class hotel here. We have two low class hotels there. Can you stop with the pop ups? This is making me insane. I know it's going well with the elections. I don't need to be notified. Don't bother you, Presidente, with trivialities such as re-elections. <laughs> it's trivial. We win one way or another. <laughs> Our opponents all got a case of uh, dying horribly. Of being tortured to death. They came down with being tortured to death. Please, please, you cannot build that here. It's a disease that spreads amongst people that uh, dislike me for some reason. I can't tell why. It's a mystery. I'm going to build uh, another one of these hotels here. And put the beach down yonder and another tourist shop and another apartment for the workers because they don't need to live in their they don't need their trash houses <laughs> seriously uh, they're already building slums here next to the tourism area uh, Built some nice apartments or bungalows. What are they called? Tenements? No, they're called house. Normal quality house Please, here. You cannot build that here. 
get rid of those uh, those uh, slums. Ooh. What are they called? Shacks. Okay, the shacks. We gotta get rid of the shacks. Look at these idiots here. They have all homeless. No, they're not homeless. I guarantee you they're not homeless. This guy is... He needs health care. Shit. Oh, yeah. Electricity and, uh, and hospital. Electricity and hospital. Uh, do we have money again? It's coming in slowly. Electric substation. Oh, okay. Oh, so the tourists don't have electricity. Shut up when I'm talking. <laughs> when your lord and savior is talking, you need to be quiet. Okay, let's put the electrical substation there. And maybe one... No, let's wait until that one is built. The tourists definitely need electricity there. They're the priority A people on my island. Me, my friends, and the tourists. <laughs> and everyone else is a freeloading scumbag. <laughs> that needs to be executed if they look at me around. Oh, we can remove this corn farm here. We don't need... This is too surrounded by other stuff. I might have to build another one. Game is frozen again. Yeah, it's got it definitely got slower. This is a better experience is to play this on Steam. I think it's available on Steam, not 100% sure. Or on uh, good old games. Where you got a little bit more power behind. More computing power. <clears throat> Electrical substation. Is it? It's built already. Okay. Uh, it's in the road tab here. We got power all the way down here. Build another one right there in front of these. Uh, in front of these balconies. Imagine this is how you're living. You're living here. And you got like the electrical substation humming away outside of your window. You can hear it through the closed windows all the time. Can we upgrade anything? Cheap hotel. But there's more upgrades in the later Tropical games. I think almost every building had upgrades then. Uh, archaeological site. Build research visitor center. Oh yeah, sure. You build it, and then they have to come. I think there's some electricity upgrades in uh, in some buildings. Wait, did I? Here, let's upgrade the lumber mill as well. Since now we do have... We do not have enough electricity to power all the buildings on the island. Shit. I but I have a, already a power plant. <laughs> do I need two? Oh, man. Oh, lordy lord. Gosh darn hot dog efficient sticks. Can we upgrade this? Oh, we don't have anyone working here. That's why. We need to hire people that work in the power plant. We do have an university, but uh, it's full of buffoons. No, let's actually see if anyone's working. I know I hired a couple. Okay, so now we got four teachers here. And we can only... Uh, they can only have half the possible students. Well, how is our high school doing, by the way? Four teachers, and but it's not completely. The high school is not completely full, but uh, the college is. 
And we can change here to Patrio par Parochial Education. Study greater religion and military education. No, no. We're good without that crap. So I think we have uh, we have a well going on our, our um, island, our Tropico, is well on the way to victory. We're gonna play until the next elections, and then we're gonna call it. Just want to see how the next elections go. Um, check out happiness. Something were really bad job quality. Liberty is super high. Housing is not that good. Entertainment, healthcare could be better. Living environment could be better because we have a. Yeah, we build everyone close to like fabrics, to, to uh, industry maybe. I don't know. But it's good enough to get reelected. You won't. Ha you won't be able to have your utopia going on. Especially not if you're playing the first game after 30 years or 20 years. I could have definitely built a lot better, but still, I think I didn't do a, such a bad job. I mean, I, I'm still president. I haven't have to cheat in any election. I didn't have anyone executed or imprisoned. I could build a prison, you know. <laughs> I could build a prison. Maybe I should build one. We need at least one general to command the soldiers. Or does... Oh, we need to build a military... We need a military outpost. Where's that? Here? No, here. Armory. Yeah, we need those. Especially if we're gonna <clears throat> have rebels at a certain point. Uh, let's put the armory here. I think generals work in the armory. Right. Hire to lure a foreign college educated worker. And the guys that are in the palace are not generals. They're just my uh, my bodyguards, basically. Oh, we can upgrade the mines, too. Build a crusher. Requires electricity. Build a screener, requires electricity, 3,000. Build separator. So this is like, all in all, investments are like... Presidente, I believe some of your people may be calling for an election 9,500, that is a lot. Sure, have the elections. Oh, wait, let's check out my decrees. I decree that I am the king of the universe. <laughs> So if, if you're having a bad time, then you can always have, like, Mardi Gras and, uh, you know, tax cuts. There we go. Literacy program. Uh, foreign literacy organizations has offered to help advance the skills of tropicans by teaching them to read and other modern skills. Modern skills. Workers will learn faster and acquire higher skill levels in their jobs. Oh, we'll do this. Yes. As you wish. Literacy program. Sensitivity training. The presence of policemen causes negative reaction. Yeah, let's do it. It will be done. All cops are good. A cat. Anti-litter ordinance. That sounds also good. I can't addict it. Oh, I can. Anti-littering program will cut pollution from people in half. Resent intrusion on their time and freedom. Liberty scores will suffer slightly. Yeah, that's okay. We have a very high liberty. Let's issue some edicts. Eliminate. Oh, this is a kill someone. Okay. Praise America. U.S. development aid. 
and then cast 2000 with blueprints that allow us to construct airports and electric plants for half the cost. No, I don't need that. Air pollution standards. By implementing air pollution standards, it cut pollution for factories in half. However, it's also raised maintenance costs. Uh, no. We still have to look for our money. The book barbecue, the book burnings. <laughs> Today we're having a nice barbecue. Bring your books from uh, that my political opponents wrote, and we're gonna burn them all. And if you disagree, then we're gonna burn you along with the books. <laughs> hmm. Good times for everyone. Okay, elections coming on one year. Coming, coming up in one year, not on. I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, this is good. I expected it to actually go worse. 138 to 75, so the enemy is getting, gaining ground. Uh, we need a hospital. We definitely need a hospital. That is our next big issue. And we do have the mola. We do have the mola. So let's put the hospital down here. We can't turn it or flip it. We got electricity after all, so we can build the hospital. And uh, what other issues do we have? Any big issues? I think we, we can uh, manage without cheating or anything. At some point, we got to raise the minimum pay for people. <laughs> some point. I think we can select all on the farm and then how do you we shift click and then it's all the farms and then you can change I think here you can raise the money by one. Oh, and now it counts for all farms if you shift click the the wage that they get and we should increase also the wages of other other jobs that pay really less really little like fishermen teamsters construction workers uh, miners of course no not miners not young children but people that mine for ore you buffoon Congratulations, I 145 to 67. Okay, so let's uh, let's call this uh, Retro Gaming Rewind episode, episode uh, 12, I believe. Good times, good times indeed. I do like this song. Now let's go to the main menu. The main menu has the more, the most iconic song of all. All right, so we played Tropico 1, first on Windows 98, second edition, and now on Windows XP, Service Pack 3. <laughs> Details that no one asked for, I'm still gonna provide. Um. So despite the whole uh, screen tearing issues, it was a great experience. It, it got a little bit laggy in the end, so maybe Tropico would even, you know, maybe for, for 2001, it could have benefited uh, being played on a PC, on a, on a more modern PC, if you get like a crowded island. But other than that, great experience, and in my opinion, the best music out of all the Tropico games. And with that being said, uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll be seeing you, seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.